Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really sorry that I am full of cold and cough. It is like my chest is really bad. Um, <clears throat> it's been a donkey's age since I have done a crochet tutorial. So today I thought I would um, do a tutorial on a super easy, super quick make on how to make a twisted headband. They are really, really simple, really quick, perfect for beginners. Um, and you can also use the same technique, the same how to do the twist to sew a headband as well. But I'm going to do a separate video on that. Hopefully that'll be up tomorrow. I'm going to try and do a couple of videos this week for Christmas makes, last minute Christmas makes that are simple that beginners can do and don't take very long because we all have that one present that we wish we should have bought, but we haven't. So without further ado, let's get making. So for today's project, you're just going to need some yarn. I just got this left over from a cardi I made, which I got when I was on holiday in Orlando. So you need your yarn, you need your corresponding yarn hook. This yarn does call for like a six point, I uh, know. Yeah, 6.5 crochet hook, but I'm going to use a four because it's, I don't want it too gappy. Some scissors, a darning needle, and just a tape measure. So what we are going to do, I've got a new table. What we are going to do is find the end of our yarn first. Guess what, Alexandra pulled from the middle <laughs> and it just kind of went wrong. And now I cannot find the end, even though I just had it in my hand, there we go. So this is like super simple and super easy. So we're just gonna start with a slip knot. And then depending, on, I'm gonna do it on measurements rather than on stitches because depending on what yarn you have and what hook you are using. So we want our thickness of our band to be around five inches or about 13 centimeters. So we're just gonna chain until we get to the length the width sorry that we want so three so i've changed chained 30 and that is way too big <laughs> just by eyeballing it. So I'm gonna pull back. Some people like theirs thicker, some people like theirs thinner. Pull you back. So I've changed mine to the width I want. I'm just gonna add two. You don't have to, but it's just so you don't lose the width. So what we're going to do now is we're going to half treble or half double if you're in the US in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. We never count this chain. So one, two, three. So we're just going to yarn over. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull through and then just pull through all three. All the way along until you get to the end. Excuse me. Okay. 
So if you want to pause the video and continue with your half trebles or half doubles and I shall meet you near the end. So if yours like mine is starting to curl up, don't worry about it. It will straighten up as we um, go along. It will get a bit bigger. So right up until that very last stitch, then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and then we're going to turn. Now normally we work into the top of the stitch here but we're going to do a wide treble crochet. So instead of working into the stitch space at the top we're going to work into the space in between each stitch. So you've done your turning chain and we're just going to half treble or half double into the space there and then into this one, not into the stitch, we're going into the space. And then we're just going to continue that. all the way along until we get to the end. Just working into these spaces in between our stitches, just half trebles, or if you are in the US, half doubles. So I'm just getting near to the end and I am going to show you, if I can find my stitch space, how to work the end. So that is my last space on here, but where we worked into the third stitch when we started, third stitch from the hook, there's this little space here. So we are going to work a treble, half treble or half double into that space there. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to turn. So this is what your headband should look like. You want to keep working that same repeat basically. So half treble, half double into each space between the stitches, not into the top of the stitch, until you get to the end. And when you get here, in your last space, you do your half treble, and then in between here, where we did that turning chain, we'll do a half treble and then chain three and just repeat. So the length you want is supposed to, well, it's gonna be the length of your head or the person that you're making it for. If you don't know their size, the average head apparently, because I've Googled this, is 22 inches or 53 centimeters, but my head is a bit smaller. So I'm gonna make mine until it's about 19 inches in this way length and then when it's reached around 19 inches or 48 centimeters we can check it see if it's long enough and then I will show you how to join it and twist it so I have finished off my um I want my crochet hooks on anyway my band just finish it off when you've got it to the length that you want. I will measure mine. Hang on a sec. So mine is 46 centimetres, which is about 18 inches. Like I said, the average head is 22 inches. 
So if you want to make yours, like you don't know the size of the person's head circumference. So now what we're going to do is, so this is where the magic happens. What we're going to do is going to fold our headband in half, like so. And then you're going to move it across. So this part is more or less in the middle. Then this part, you want to space it sort of evenly. This part folds to the back. Let's even this out a little bit. And this part folds over to the front. You can sort of play with it until you get it even. And then we're going to use this tail, this long tail, to stitch it together. There we go. So it looks like this. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to thread my tapestry needle, my darning needle, then I'm going to show you how to sew it together. So one more time, you fold it in half, put it at an angle nearly in the middle. This part goes to the back and this part comes to the front and you have your layers like so. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna catch the stitches, just the top of the stitches, make sure you get right in the corner of that one. And just pull it through like so. Then we're just going to move on to the next stitch. Making sure you go through all your stitches. each row. Don't worry if you miss one because we're going to go over it a couple of times. We're going to go back and forth. As you can see, this one has decided to hide. And if it's not completely even, don't stress too much about it. But just make sure. See how this one's gone down. We just need to catch there we go, the corner of that one. And I'm just going to go through and through. And then I'm just going to go back again just to secure it because obviously it's going to be on your head. And this bit is going to get quite a lot of tension. So we'll just go back through again, making sure that you catch all your stitches. <coughs> like so.
just make sure that you work right up until the end like so and once you've done that we're just gonna tie it off And then what I will do is I'll just weave my end in at the same time because I'm lazy. And then we just open it up and there you have a lovely twisted headband ear warmer. It's so easy to make, really quick to make. If you, Obviously, if you use a bigger, chunkier yarn and a bigger needle, you can do this in like an hour. They're really cozy as well. Keep your ears nice and warm in the freezing cold weather. And there's your twist. Bit of magic and really easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be coming back with a few more simple Christmas makes during the week for those last minute Christmas presents or birthday presents or any presents or just make for yourself. So I shall see you all soon and happy crocheting.